Foster Air Conditioning Royals Report on Shaw TV. Brought to you by Foster Air Conditioning. Online at fosterair.com. Royals net now slides it into the feet of Pollock to the point. Mayo makes a move on Soy. Mayo turn around pass to Patrick. Sop by Volrath. What a pass. What a save. Coleman Volrath. He's six feet tall, 168 pounds, born in Calgary, Alberta, and plays goal for your Victoria Royals. Me and my dad would always watch NHL hockey together on TV, and we always were interested in, uh, in the goalies and their equipment and how they moved and how they competed in the net. And I think uh, that seeing them compete and battle every day is something uh, that made me want to become a goalie myself. Blocker save Volrath off a of Truk. Great stop. Coleman got a late start playing hockey. He didn't strap on the skates until he was nine years old, and he started as a forward. I think I scored like seven goals all year in uh, my second year novice, so uh, that wasn't really working out too well. So uh, I always liked playing goalie when I got into the rotation, and then uh, after that uh, season, my parents bought me my first set of uh, equipment for Christmas. And ever since I got that uh, full set of Vaughn equipment, I haven't been able to get out of the pads, and things kind of went from there. Transitioning from forward to goaltender did come with its fair share of adversity, but Coleman and his parents enlisted some help along the way. In my first game as a goalie in Adam is when I started playing that position full time. I think I got uh, shelled for 10 goals or something like that, and uh, my parents ended up uh, enrolling me in World Pro goaltending. It's an on ice goalie uh, training facility in Calgary, and I train there uh, in the off season now. But uh, growing up, I trained there quite a bit. And my parents and World Pro definitely got me to where I am today. Coleman's parents moved from Calgary to Edmonton, and when they had Coleman, they passed their allegiance to the Edmonton Oilers onto him, which didn't serve him well going to school in Calgary. Uh, that was tough. I think uh, in middle school I wore an Oilers jersey to school one day and ended up getting ripped off me and thrown in a garbage can or something like that, but you know what? I managed to maintain my loyalty to the Oilers throughout uh, my childhood as a fan. Zell put it to the wall, stolen by Delnov, sharp angle shot, glove save made by Volrath. Although Coleman's hopes are to just make it to the NHL, he wouldn't mind if he did get a chance to suit up for those Oilers. Probably be my uh, dream NHL team to go to for sure growing up, uh, watching the Oilers play, uh, going to Oilers games with uh, my grandparents and my aunt and stuff like that. Uh, that's where all my extended family lives. but. That'd be uh, definitely an awesome uh, feat and an honor to gear up for the Oilers one day. Coleman's dad said if he made the Western Hockey League, he'd pay to get a mask painted for Coleman. After making the team last year, his dad had to pay up. So on this side, I have uh, Queen Victoria, and uh, I kind of let uh, the painter come up with his ideas. You know, I had my input. Uh, there's some sparkly paint on here. It's uh, metallic, and that actually came off of like Henrik Lundqvist's mask and how he paints his mask. Mask, because I. Uh, I think is one of the best looking masks in the NHL. And I have the VR logo here. On this side I have the main Royals logo. And on the chin I have Royals as well. I have lightning going throughout. Because I just, I don't know, I like that a lot. And then uh, on the back I have the Wrath. And that's a childhood nickname that uh, I had grown up. In Victoria for the Royals Report, I'm Marlon Martins. The voice of the Royals on the Zone at 91.3. Foster Air Conditioning Royals Report on Shaw TV. Brought to you by Foster Air Conditioning. Online at fosterair.com.